Hey everyone, today in this postman session, we are going to discuss about how to integrate any CI CD tool like Jenkins with your postman CLI and then also execute your collections on the CI CD tool. And then after running the collection, the CI CD tool will then re return the results back to postman and you can see it directly in your collections. So we are going to use Jenkins for the CI CD integration and we have already seen how we can run our collections uh, in the Postman CLI and today we are going to see how you can integrate it with the CI CD tool and then trigger those executions right from that CI CD tool like Jenkins. So let's uh, head back to our Postman uh, which I have already opened and we'll be using the same collection uh, which is the github collection and for that when you go into the run section uh, here we have already seen uh, different options like run manually uh, we can schedule the runs and then uh, the last option which is automate runs via CLI right so this is the option which we are going to look at today uh, we have already seen how you can run your uh, collection on the postman CLI uh, we have used this commands as well right so we first log in uh, uh, into the postman with API key and then uh, we use the collection run command uh, and give the ID uh, with the environment to run uh, this particular collection on the CLI. Now these steps will still remain the same. Uh, it's just that these steps uh, will be now added into a CI CD tool, right? So right at the end, you will see there is an option run on CI CD and here you can configure the command to run your uh, CLI configuration, right? So once you come to the screen, uh, so you have to choose a collection. It's already selected because I selected the collection. If you have uh, using a environment, then uh, you have to select that. Okay, and then coming to CI CD configuration. So you have to select a provider. So there are many options in Postman. You can select Bitbucket pipelines, uh, Circle CI, GitLab, uh, Azure pipelines, Travis CI, and uh, we'll be using the most popular one, which is Jenkins, okay, for our integration. Uh, the other option which you can select is the operating system, okay, for CI CD. Now this is, uh, we have got Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So I'll be going with Windows, but you can choose whatever uh, you like, okay. Once you do that, um, Postman CLI will automatically generate a pipeline script which you can directly paste in your CI CD tool. Like for Jenkins, uh, we have this pipeline script which has been uh, prepared by Postman. Okay, uh, it might require some changes, but mostly it will remain the same. Okay, and depending on your operating system, um, this script will change, right? Because for Linux, we will use uh, the sh command, but for um, Windows, we may be using a different command, okay? So we'll see all that. Um, the other things which you require is a Postman API key. Uh, we have already seen how you can grab your Postman API key right from your profile, or you can generate it, right? I can also generate it right from here, okay? So I can click on Generate API key, and then I can name this uh, API key, okay? And I can click on generate. So this is my API key uh, and it is stored uh, in the variable postman API key, okay? So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and close this, right? And we can also copy the whole postman CLI command, right? Which is here, which is nothing but the pipeline script. Uh, but first we need to create a Jenkins build. So let's head back to Jenkins. And uh, just for reference, I'm using the latest versions of Jenkins and Postman. So right now I'm on the Postman web, but uh, you can also use the Postman desktop app, okay? Okay, so now um, I will click on the new item from dashboard in Jenkins, okay? And I will select the pipeline uh, build type I will enter a name here, okay? So we'll call it Postman CLI and click on okay. So that will create a 
project configuration. In this configuration, uh, we don't need to enter anything in the general and advanced project sections, okay? But we need to require the pipeline, right? So we need to enter the pipeline script because we are trying to run a pipeline, okay? So here, as you know, it is a groovy script, right? A postman has already generated some uh, script here. So I can copy this, right? And then I can come here and I can paste it. Okay. And as you can see, there are some instructions here, like Jenkins runs pipeline on the host system that it is set up. So to run it on Windows, you need to install it, uh, install the server on a Windows machine, right? And once it has been set up, you can run this um, below step to your pipeline to run automated tests using Postman CLI, okay? So we don't need this comments here, uh, so better remove it as it is showing some error, okay? So let's come to the pipeline script and let's try to understand. Uh, it's like any other pipeline script, okay? So it starts with this pipeline syntax and then uh, agent any, that means it will run on any available agent, right? Uh, this particular tools node.js right so here uh, we need to pass on the node.js configured tool name okay so since i am running my jenkins on local i need to configure node.js okay so for that uh, node.js should be installed on my local machine and to verify that you can type node-v and as you can see it is this particular version which is installed on my local machine right if you're working on a Linux or on a particular server, right? So Jenkins is set up on a server, you have to make sure that Node.js is already set up on that server, okay? To install it on a local, it's pretty simple. Just go to Google and just search for Node.js. And from the website node.js, you'll find uh, the download option. You just need to download and run the exe, okay? So once it is installed, uh, you can go back to a command prompt and type this and it should give you the version if it is installed properly. Okay. The next step is let's go ahead and save this. This is not complete, but we'll come back to that. Uh, let's go to, uh, sorry. So we need to go to manage Jenkins. Okay. And inside this, I need to go to global tool configuration. Now here you will find uh, lots of different tools which you can configure, but first you need to also have the plugin for that, okay? So all of these plugins are already available in Jenkins and that's why it is shown here. If you want something else like a Node.js configuration, you need to install the plugin as well, okay? So when you launch or when you use Jenkins for the first time, you may not see this uh, section Node.js. So if you don't see that, okay, uh, go to manage Jenkins and go to manage plugins and here go to available plugins. And here you can find or search for Node.js, right? And then it will show you a list of options. There is only one option, one plugin for Node.js. So for me, it is already installed, but you can always go to the available plugins and you can install this Node.js plugin uh, 1.5.1. Okay, it's currently enabled for me. And once you do that, then when you again go back to manage Jenkins and global tool configuration, this particular option should be available to you. Okay. So uh, once uh, it is there, there are two options. Either you can uh, add your own Node.js directory or you can al also install the Node.js right from here, okay? So there is a install automatically option. So you can install it right from here, from install from node.js.org. Okay, so it will install it and uh, set up this configuration. But for me, I have done it the other way. So I have installed it on my own, on my local, and now I've given it a name called node, and the installation directory is C program files node.js, okay? So just enter that and click on save. 
so our configuration for node.js is complete right now let's go back to our um, dashboard and let's go to postman cli and let's go to configure okay so here in the pipeline script i need to enter uh, the configured name for my node.js which is node okay so this is the name i had given in the global tool configuration so this will basically uh, set the node.js okay before uh, because postman cli requires node.js okay so that's why this configuration is required and then uh, we have got different stages as you can see so the first stage is to install postman cli and uh, this uh, script is an sh uh, which ideally should be only for linux based systems so it's better you change this uh, to a bat batch command okay so what you can do easily is uh, copy this a uh, whole command okay just to make sure we can directly change it to bat and that should work but let me show you um, the other way around if you're not sure about what to enter here okay so since our uh, local system is windows um, i can go to pipeline syntax here okay and here i can select the windows path script and if i'm not sure what command i should enter then just copy the command and paste it here okay and click on generate pipeline script so that will generate the correct command for you okay this is to just make sure but we could have directly uh, replaced the sh with pat okay okay um so let's go ahead and paste that command here okay so this is the batch command now um, and now coming to the next stage which is the postman cli login right and here as you can see we have got a variable postman api key and uh, we need to change this to bat okay so let's do that and we don't need to change anything else but we need to provide a api key okay now i've shown you how you can generate it now in ideal scenario um, when you're working on a real jenkins uh, server you should not give your postman api key um, and that's why this variable is provided so you can generate or you can create a credential uh, in Jenkins and then you can assign it here. But um, for my case, it's not so important. It's uh, Jenkins is just being used by me. So I will directly go here and uh, use my API key, right? Now I have lost uh, the API key, which I copied to clipboard. So rather I will go and use one of my existing ones. So let me go to settings. And here I will find all uh, the API keys which has been generated by me, okay? So go to the API keys section and here you will see there are two, um, one which we have recently generated. So since it's here, uh, let me copy this, but we can't copy it because it is masked. So last four digits are masked, right? So you need to make sure if you're copying it, you need to copy it somewhere, uh, or paste it somewhere because you won't be able to uh, recopy it, right? But there is another option. Uh, if you have lost it, you can regenerate this API key, which I'm going to do now, okay? And I'm going to delete the existing key now and regenerate it. And let's copy this one, okay? And here we are going to paste it directly here. As I said, in ideal scenario, you should not but for me it is fine okay and the last stage uh, is running the collection again uh, change the sh command to bat if you're not working in linux okay and uh, postman collection run and then the environment okay so both ids are already provided here postman has generated the script for us we could have wrote the script on our own but uh, this saves our time okay so this is our whole pipeline script. Um, we can save it. And now we can build our pipeline script. Okay. 
so what will happen is it will trigger the collection run right from Jenkins and then uh, once the results are available it will you can see those results right in your postman okay so let's go ahead and build this uh, you can also configure this particular uh, pipeline to um, run on a particular schedule either daily or hourly or on particular days so as you like right also um, the nice thing about this is you will see um, how your all your stages in your pipeline is performing which has passed which has failed uh, with logs so you can see right over in the dashboard okay so this will uh, take some time um, it is currently installing the postman cli right um, and if we want to see uh, what are the logs for this so we can do that so let's go to console output and here you will see it has started running uh, jenkins in postman cli so this is the workspace right and then uh, it has installed the postman cli and now it is also logged in with my user qs script it was logged in successfully and it has now started running the collection okay so once uh, it is done uh, you will see there is a finished success message now this report may not look perfect in jenkins because of the encoding right so by default the encoding is set to unicode but you can always change it to base 24 you just need to modify uh, the jenkins file um, and then um, this report will just look like how it looks like inside the postman tool but I'm not going into that right now, okay? Uh, the important thing here is we have triggered um, the Postman CLI collection um, and we have run it right from Jenkins, okay? And as you can see here in the last steps, the Postman CLI run data uploaded to Postman Cloud and that's why this results will be available in Postman. Okay, so this results, even if you don't see it in Jenkins, it's not a problem. So just go and click on this link, okay? And we can see our collection results right from our Postman, okay? So it will log in uh, into the Postman and those results are already uploaded to its cloud. And here under our collection, you will see the run results, okay? Uh, it will show the source as Postman CLI and uh, the iterations, the duration, all the tests, okay? so what has passed what has failed so similarly uh, when we ran it from the postman cli directly similar results right but this time around we have integrated it with a ci cd tool like jenkins and we ran it from there okay uh, you can always uh, run it again um, or as i said you can go back to your uh, Postman CLI configure, right? And here you can configure your build triggers. So you can build periodically, you can do a poll SCM, um, you can trigger builds remotely. So whatever uh, way you want to trigger your build, you can do that right from Jenkins. But uh, this is the way you can configure your CI CD uh, tool with Postman and start running your collections using the CLI. 